Hi guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha to a TV. It is 110,000 degrees Celsius today in Sydney, or actually just 40 degrees Celsius, but that is really hot. This is my current favourites. I did want to, I guess, look at doing favourites this year. However, monthly favourites, I feel like, look, us YouTubers get a lot of flack, okay? And people just say it's repeated items, but as I have always said, I'm true to my favourites. I don't just collect a load of crap that aren't actually things that I'm using because I do want to show you great products. So straight into it, and this is in no order. This is going to be all different things, Lux, Beauty, whatevs. I have cracked into this baby. This is my agenda desktop notebook yeah desktop notebook by Louis Vuitton it is simply the uh, um, sorry canvas cover like so like all their agendas it's just the cover that is sold and then you buy the refill in this I bought lined paper refills I I'm not sure if you can buy like an actual agenda refill for the desktop. I think it's just notes. I bought it to show you. This is being returned to uh, Bondi um, Louis Vuitton. The current essay I'm using there is Ellen. Hi Ellen. You may have seen her on one of my vlogs. She had just started at Bondi and she said that she watched my videos. So. I'm working with her, she's helping me out a lot. This needs to go in for repair. And this is my PM agenda in Damio Zur, with Zur, sorry, which you guys have seen a million trillion times. But I did want to show you up close that the actual spine, so the um, circular parts of the spine here, which hold the paper, you push these clips down to open it and you push them in to close it so down on these to open, push to close. If you look closely at mine, they don't close 100%. So they're obviously bent a bit out of shape over the years and it needs to be completely taken off and a new one needs to be put on. Uh, you can't, I thought they could just like get pliers in the back and tighten it, but you can't. So this has to go be sent away to Singapore for repair. A little devastated because I use it every day. But I will tell you that when I downsize in a handbag, this is the first thing to go. And then I just take out, like I have a quick um, information like slip in here that I take out if I need to take that with me for the day. So this will be going off for repair. So this has become my agenda desktop kind of in the kitchen agenda which is even cuter actually than that because that's more like a personal agenda that comes around with me but this sits in the kitchen I won't show you all what can we show you okay well this has got a little shopping list that I just did the other day and I stuck it in there so we have like notepads in the kitchen but this just sits on the kitchen counter. It's really actually cute. And then we write what, like, you know, I write, I, I write the words. I want to show you, but there's actually heaps of information in here that's important. Um, but I'll just write Saturday 16th, 2.30, mussy, you know, picnic or something like that. Like whatever it is. And then I've noticed my husband started to write little things. It's so cute. And the other day, Jill's wrote a note in here. And she wrote like, hi, dropped off this. So everyone's starting to write in the desktop agenda or the desktop uh, notepad, which I think is just adorable. And in here I keep, these are some of Mussy's injection forms. And these are the stickers from the, agenda, the little PM agenda. This is the... Um, page divider from the PM agenda and I've just put them in there to make that pretty but I did want to show you this because it it definitely is a current favorite and to see like the family joining in on like agenda writing how cute moving on to some quick beauty 
These I showed you in my gift guide idea and I think I even showed them in another video but this is the new by nature line. Uh, they stock this here in Australia in Priceline. Yes, that's where I got it, Priceline. So this is their makeup remover and I've really been enjoying it. It's super gentle. I can't stand liquid makeup remover if it's if I'm not using a wipe or my face wash to take my makeup off I can't stand liquid remover that makes your eyes sting my mom has liquid eye remover I swear I'm like I can't see if I ever use it because it's like it kills your eyes this doesn't do that and, and it's really really gentle on your skin which is really nice and this was the other item from them I wanted to show you this is the nude beige BB cream and this is what I actually went uh, sort of to find the nude by nature BB cream because I heard it was really good it does just give your skin a little bit of a tint a little bit of a glow like if you're going out to do errands you don't need to do a full face but it also covers things so I was breaking out pretty badly the other week and I just was whacking this on and it was really moisturizing but it kind of gave me a tint so I didn't look dead. I have to mention this, I mention it in almost all favorites. This is my 100ml Angel by Terry Mugler. I actually bought this before I went to California. Then on the way home from California, I thought I was picking up the 50ml star. When in fact, it's the new like limited edition fruity scent angel and I'm actually going to end up selling that in my vlog sale that's up and coming because it is not my regular angel smell you know I rave about angel I tell you I've worn it since I was 15 years old it is very intense very vanilla musky if you like that it is a show stopping perfume there is not one day that goes past that people don't stop me and be like Oh my gosh, are you wearing Angel? Like when I was in Sephora the other day, the whole flock of girls that were near like the Marc Jacobs stand were like, is that Angel? Are you wearing Angel? She's wearing Angel. And they were all just, I was like, oh, you, they were all having a conversation on their own. I was like, yes, I'm wearing Angel. But it, again, I can't not rave about it, but I will be sell, selling the fruitier Angel that I bought by mistake. Mistake. The last beauty product, of course, original is the Coco uh, Chanel Coco gloss the new glosses rave about them all last year I bought them in nearly all of the colors but this is the color I've been wearing in the last couple of videos where you guys are like wow look at the red lips da, 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 and everyone was raving so thank you so much because it is outside of my comfort zone and yes I know I'm I was filming but one of those videos I did go out after for dinner uh, with my family and this is the Rouge Coco gloss in the 752 someone was telling me they actually have names but girl listen honey if you can read that writing I'm gonna tell you something right now that is really small but it's like this I guess you'd say like fire fire engine red it's like though yeah it's it's not like blood red but it's very uh orange undertone but it's so bright like bam it just you saw it like i didn't have to wear a lipstick or anything it was just this and it is amazing today on my lips however we have a nude moment going on rouge coco 716 so i love this as a go-to as well sorry there's hair on it so it's really beautiful just like a nudie pink undertone and just gorge so we love this last couple of items here is this has been a favorite I have had a couple of subbies reach out to me about this item one of them hi doll she was wanting to purchase this in the larger size as a kind of catch-all jewelry case as well but for more things little jewelry that she had like rings and stuff like that I told her totally another subby hi doll I think she wrote to me and she said that she had bought this after she saw I bought it as like a jewelry case but her bangles don't fit in it was that right love I think so I need to preference that obviously you know 
things aren't all going to fit in here jewelry wise in here I just keep my rings and right now you can see my wedding set down inside I just have my one of my bands on not my full wedding set that's down inside I had cleaned it and that is where um, I put my rings basically this ring those rings and three other rings that I have that I trade between so for me I knew it was really going to be predominantly for my rings trying to shove bangles in this I'm pretty sure yes that would not work because of the shape of it obviously but I definitely truly believe that these are handy if you travel a lot this is handy and obviously it is a perfume case it is made and made to measure for their perfume bottle uh, but you know I think outside the box I think they're gorgeous I think it's also a beautiful piece to have on your vanity to have on your console table by your bed it's just really pretty so I have been utilizing it and I just wanted to show you that it definitely is a current favorite and that I utilize it for my rings and here shout out to Monique she didn't get me these I'm not surprised if she wanted to try because that's how she is but shout out to Monique because this is my beautiful emerald green uh, velour or like velvety Gucci case that I chose for these sunglasses I'll just show you and the little baggie so they come in all these jeweled tones and I had the maroony kind of plum so I chose the emerald green when I was in California in honor of Monique and that would be to house these beautiful sunglasses which have not really left my face since I purchased them from the Rodeo Drive Beverly Hills uh, Gucci in California when I was there on my trip with Fashion File I picked up these uh, large square star GG all black slightly gradiated a little bit gradiated um, in the lens are uh, sunglasses and OMG they are mage they are just that go to BAM they are that go to all black large shades I don't want to see you you don't want to see me kind of situation running to the post office in you know your pajamas and they're so comfortable they don't they're not they're really thick like acetate the, the this is really quite sturdy arms but you know if you have a pair of sunnies that are really sturdy arms they can push in and they push in on the side of your head and give you a headache these don't do that and a lot of their new designs in Gucci don't do that either I am happy to announce that their <laughs> dust cloth in uh, their collection at the moment is great it is really large it is a great micro cloth and it's good for cleaning they use, I used to complain about how small they were so these are a super current favorite okay two more items and they are both Vuitton and then I'm finished uh, the first one is this sometimes I really cringe if I ever show a toiletry because I know I know they are so hard to get your hands on right now and I get emails all the time hold the phone okay I just have to I just have to do a little situation right now and this is like this this is by no means like a rant actually it is kind of a rant but it's a loving rant I because I'm just like I'm I'm schooling you you know what I mean I'm saying to you guys please don't do this I got a really really disappointing email from my uh, from a subby won't be named uh, the other night to like three nights ago a really disappointing email like super disappointed in me you know telling me that she was unsubscribing doesn't want to follow me anymore really disappointed in me and the reason for that was because she had contacted me maybe you know three weeks before then needing me to look at a listing on eBay for her she had you know sent it and sent it and sent it to authenticate the item for her before she bid on it I love all of you I do I love her she, she can unfollow me she can be really angry at me that's fine I've explained to her this situation so that's fine I am not an authenticator I can truthfully hand on heart and legally say 
that I can't tell you or confirm authenticity legally I can't you can hold it against me you can say you know if it wasn't authentic at the end of the day you can hold it against me that's why some that's why some resellers some consignment companies like fashion file like yogi's closet like the real real are so amazing because they have that legality behind them I can't do it I am just a youtuber I am just a fashion blogger you can't hold that against me. If I don't return your email in time and you're bidding on an item or you're not sure if you want to buy an item from Fashion File before it goes off, you know, it's been sold, you can't, I'm sorry, but you can't hold that against me and, you know, be so disappointed in me if I don't get back to you in time. Please, I just, truthfully, I respect that you want to know my opinion but you have to do your research for yourself anyway that's my rant see i told you it was a loving rant because i love you guys and i want to help but i truthfully also i i truthfully cannot authenticate but i digress in a massive spiel but the point was is that i do get a lot of emails from you guys from subbies i had one email from uh, actually one of my Jerusha boys trying to find this item and he didn't care if it was new or uh, pre-loved and the only option at the time was off fashion file and why are the prices the same as new that my answer to him was is because they are new the item is probably brand new pretty much or in excellent condition so basically not used so they're losing maybe you know on the whatever their to handover their commissions or whatever but they don't it's like if i wanted to sell a brand new item i can sell it close close to brand new or i can even sell it for brand new because they're so hard to get your hands on so there's really no difference so so many people are like why would you pay that if you can just buy it brand new well go on go and buy brand new you can't because you can't find it anywhere because it's there's no stock being made anyway <laughs> i don't want to show it because i know that it's super sought after but this is the louis vuitton toiletry 15 in the size 15 it is the super equivalent size to the mini pochette i have done a uh like a review of the two of them a face off of the two of them but this is definitely a current favorite it holds all of my needs it's a mini catch-all and I've worked out my catch-all situation earbuds lipstick compact uh, extra keys extra uh, business cards uh, uh, headaches like you know Panadol and things like that hair ties and it's just working out perfect and for other than super down sizes so needing to go in really mini bags it works perfectly so the next item is not this bag even though ah, you know it's amazing but in my most used handbag video my last one I said that this bag was definitely a most used for 2017 and mainly with this strap and I didn't have the strap out to show you uh, so I'm using it at the moment so I wanted to rave about the strap on this current favorite so let's put this guy back in here these these bandoliers are not cheap okay they're not cheap i'm not gonna lie they're expensive this was <clears throat> seven hundred dollars it's at 690 sorry so you got a bit of change but essentially yeah seven hundred dollars it is the reverse monogram uh on the front and on the underneath side it is just the black calf skin leather like so would I normally have splurged on a bandolier strap? No. But when I put this on, when I was doing my um, birthday haul in the Maison in Sydney, it is just so soft. Uh, I didn't feel any of the others, like the monogram with the pink lining under, but I assume they're as soft as this. But this is just so incredibly soft, it's ridiculous. This is the XL reverse strap, so it is adjustable, which is a really nice little option. If you're a shorty or a tallie, you can change it up, which is really nice. 
The hardware is beautiful, super shiny and gorgeous. And I'm really enjoying this strap, especially on this bag. I did try it on my Palm Springs mini backpack. It is cute on that as well. So that is it, that is it guys. That is all my current favorites at the moment. And my mini with love rant. You guys, know how much I care about you and I hope you understand where I'm coming from. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you wish to do so guys that would be so great. If you enjoyed this video please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. That would be really lovely to see your thumbs up. I enjoy seeing them. I hope you're all having a really great start to 2018. I'll see you in my next video. Take care guys. Peace. Just beginning